What's going on everyone? It's RJ and Alex from Backyard Sprouts and we got something different for you guys today. We're gonna do a vlogging style setup. We're just gonna be walking around. We're not gonna set up the, the shot or anything like that. We're going to give you an update on what's actually going on with our business as itself and then we're gonna go head to Alex's backyard and we'll show you guys what's going on with her um, vegetables. But we did promise you guys that we were going to set up and talk about the lights. We're going to have to break that promise this week because yeah. it's been absolutely crazy. So today Alex and I met up with our first potential clients. We met up with two different restaurants and two different chefs. And um, we landed yeah. one, so it's super crazy. Alex and I are super giddy right now, super smiley, cheesing all over the place. But um, today has been super crazy. So we met, we met with both of them, and the the one potential client is definitely giving us some crazy numbers right off the bat. So Alex yeah. and I are starting to compute crazy numbers right now and making sure that we can make these demands, which we will. Um, so we're we're going to kind of just give you guys an update on what's going on, and then next week next week we'll talk about the lights for the microgreens because i know yeah. you guys are looking forward to that and that is a topic that alex and i uh, had to heavily do research on on which lights will grow for our microgreens yeah. so our first client today was somewhere uh, opposite of where I live it was about an hour away and the guy was awesome brand new restaurant about a week open and they actually are currently supplied by a competitor who's out of South Carolina and so we were kind of nervous going in we didn't really know what to expect obviously our first meet and greet <laughs> and uh, the guy was super great we met with the uh, manager of the kitchen super awesome super yeah. laid-back guy was showing us all all the the, the entire restaurant he's showing us the upstairs lounge and everything like that yeah. it was great to work with him and hopefully we can land him. yeah we're like hoping that he likes us and he decides <laughs> to secure some of our microgreens but basically we left him a big sample so that way he can go back he's gonna give it to his chefs and they're gonna play around with it to see what they think and fingers crossed that they like it and give us a call back. Yeah, we've gotten good feedback from yeah. both of them. They love this. The sunflower shoots seem to be big because they have this yeah. like nice crisp flavor to them mm -hmm. when you bite in. And the pea shoots are pretty common. Everyone really likes them. It's kind of a flavor that across the board people are attracted to. Yeah, so we got awesome feedback from both of them. Yeah. They both loved the... Um, the samples that we gave, something that Alex and I are kind of upset about, we're just, we're just kind of rolling with it, was we wish we had the Rambo radishes ready. That's supposed to come Monday. Yep. So we'll start growing those because they have that nice, awesome color. They have the reddish, purplish color, so it's, it looks good as a garnish on different plates and stuff like that. So that's gonna come, but we only provide them sam with samples with peas, speckled peas, yep. and the uh, black oil sunflower. So then our second restaurant we just hit up is the one that we landed, and the guy was amazing to talk to, but you know, it's a Saturday, and we knew it was gonna be super busy busy time. We went in a little early, but unfortunately didn't have a long time to speak with him. He's going to be calling us back next week and he gave us some pretty awesome numbers. So we're trying to calculate right some now. Some insane forecasted yeah, numbers. <laughs> uh, how we're going to work on that. And that's one thing I want to mention. He did mention he forecasts and he has a history of forecasting, which is fantastic for us because that allows us to backdate and plan our dates to maturity, right? And how often we need to plant. And anyone who works in supply chain or business knows forecasting is amazing to your bottom line. So we're pretty <laughs> pumped about that. Yep. So that is the update on what happened today. Um, it's been super crazy. We've been both traveling South Carolina to Northern North Carolina. So yeah. um, that's what's going on. And we're going to actually take you back to uh, Alex's backyard yeah. and we'll show you guys an update on what her backyard's looking like. So as we're walking back over there, as you guys have been actually like paying attention or keeping up with us, the Carolinas has had some ridiculous cold weather and um, we're getting hit with all sorts of frost and stuff like that. Today's actually like the first day it's reached 70s. Yes. So it's actually super beautiful, super gorgeous today. Um, and so here we are in Alex's backyard. And so, Alex, take. Let's start oh. with what the cold weather did. So this is the remnants of a basil plant that I kept alive all winter and planted it outside because the weather was beautiful. And then we got a freak snowstorm in April in North Carolina <laughs> and it killed it. Yeah, Hold much up. sadness. Alex's dog is going ballistic right now. Look at, him, look at him go. Where are they going? But yeah, very sad because I worked hard to keep those alive. So not very excited about that. But let's go check out the raised beds and see how they're doing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ooh. <laughs> All right, guys. So right here we have butter crunch lettuce coming in. And so one of the things I've been toying with is whether or not to kind of thin out these rows to help give more room for the lettuce to grow. Um, 
I have seen people do different things online and have success with both. So I might thin some rows and then leave other rows densely planted to kind of see how they go. But they're looking really good, super healthy, coming in nice. So the key here, now that the Carolina uh, summer's coming in, is to just keep it uh, watered well because they'll cook quickly in the sun. So this is butter crunch. And then here we have romaine, which everyone's familiar with. And ours will not have salmonella, which is very exciting. <laughs> or E. coli, whichever was affecting yeah, Whichever that. one. <laughs> yeah. So I'm excited to eat some romaine and not get sick. And then further down we have some spinach and this is called Bloomsdale Long Standing. So this is another one RJ and I were toying with, whether or not to yep. thin out. And again, I might thin some of these rows. You can really see right here where some of these dried out, um, the sun cooking it. We've just had really crazy weather so it's kind of hard to tell whether or not we need to water and I try to keep the soil pretty moist but also don't want to overwater some of these. We uh, have rambo radishes all the way through so I have been thinning these like crazy you can see all these little ones are thinned out rambo radish seeds that I pulled out they were just trying to grow but yeah. what happens is they get too close like right here you can see right so these are too close so they're not going to grow so you have to thin them out so I'd pull this one out and right here I'd pull this one out so that these have at least two inches between to give room for the plant to grow. And you can see the ones that have thinned, the leaves have gotten a lot bigger on some of them. So right here, these are looking good. So I'm pretty excited to see the radishes come in. It is my first time growing them and I need to thin some of these out They're a bit more. They're looking really good. And last but not least, we have arugula, which is one of my favorite green colors. I love arugula, I love it on some pizza, which defeats the purpose of eating greens, but I love it. Pizza, pizza is considered a vegetable. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> but uh, this looks really good, and again, same circumstance, debating whether or not to thin it, but right now it's looking pretty healthy, so I might just kind of let it grow in pretty thick. So pretty excited about that. We are hoping to hit some farmer's markets relatively soon. We recently looked into getting our insurance because you need insurance to be selling at farmer's markets, and we have our packaging down, which is all compostable. So we're pretty excited. Labels are in. We're yes. ready to go. Yes, we got the labels. They're looking good. Yeah. Um, they're on our Instagram if you haven't checked it out. And like Alex said, our we are 100% eco-friendly. Yep. So our containers are 100% compost, exactly. made from compost material. Save the earth. Yep. But cool. And actually, what's super cool with Alex's radishes and what's super nice about them is if you look, their stems very nice red color to it. I like it. Yeah, they're super pretty. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Yeah, and as always, Alex and I are trying to build a community of like minds, so we would absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button so you guys get the latest on our urban farming adventure, and we will see you guys next time.